Good morning. Today we are hiking the third tallest mountain in Korea, Soraksa National Park. pretty good. Good morning. Today we are hiking the third tallest mountain in Korea, Soraksa National Park. Oh, there's a temple say. Oh, that's so cute. A souvenir shop. You can buy hiking gear, old people stick. That's cute. Wow, American flag. Yeah. Wow, they have New York ice cream. Oh, the temple's this way. I see the cable cars. Hero high up at the peak, a rock moved up from below and erected, meaning itself the signpost of history from now for a hundred thousand million years, together with the rock remain ever and forever. Wow, we're only five miles away from that peak. Oh my god, I have the best view right here. Wow. Wow, that water is clear. It really is crazy to see all of these colors and greens and just 
just be here in the mountains. I love the layers in the clouds. We've already done one kilometer, half a mile. One thing that surprises me is when I see wood, like a deck or a bridge, and also this carpet on top of the mountain here. There's another. We're almost as tall as the mountains. That's a cool cave. Oh, oh I see the valley. That's really pretty. That's a nice view. They have a bell. I'm going to sing the. I'm going to sing the. I'm going to sing the. I'm going to sing this hike is why I hike. So Roxanne has everything and more than I could have imagined. Temples, waterfalls, trees, and animals that I usually don't see in the Korean cities or other parts of Korea. Seeing the massive sitting Buddha in person was incredible. It's a monument for hope that someday the unification of South and North Korea could happen. When my friend Marlene and I went up to the cave at 1700 elevation, it was mind-blowing to meet a monk up there. And even an older Korean man was talking to us in English and telling us about his son who lives in Atlanta and used to live in Washington, D.C. Moments like this are unbelievable. Here I am living and working on the other side of the world, hiking the third tallest mountain in Korea, and having a conversation with an older Korean man inside of a cave. And then we saw this. If you have a chance or you're planning to visit Soroksan, definitely visit for at least three to six hours to appreciate the nature. Also, if you have a chance in the autumn when the leaves change in September or October, I've seen pictures and it's really pretty.
Wow, some rocks just fell down. So that was kind of scary. Yeah, right. When you're hiking here, just be careful because if it's windy like today, then a little pieces of rocks may fall down as you're coming down the stairs. Marlene just had a lesson learned, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's always be careful. It. And the view up here is just really, really pretty. I think the best thing to do in that type of situation, looking back, is just to like lean against the wall. I was gonna say hold on to something. Hold on to something and then like get near the big rock. Uh -huh. To hopefully it'll oh, yeah. like, the get wind. past you. Yeah. Physics. That was really nice to see other people up there too. Now we have to go all the way back down the way we came. Yeah, this hike, I've never realized how good it was. And it's definitely pretty good. Yeah, we were just up there. Really pretty. So after a good hike, it's important to hydrate and get a really good meal. And eat. Yes, and eat really good meal. And I think also get some chocolate milk, because that has a lot of sugars and really good after moving a lot of your muscles. You can hear the waves of the valley and the stream. We went into an expert long Oh, did we? This is where the cave was at. Mm -hmm. But, he's expert. Peace. There's just so many different shades. It's not so windy anymore. But I can see the camera. Let's go look. It looks pretty busy. Maybe it's good. Hangover soup. Pajan, they have Pajan. What do you think of the food? It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. So, bibimbap for one, 8,000. Mm -hmm. This is amazing for the price. Yeah. I'm excited to try everything.